The two ravens were staring at the kid like he was their dinner, which probably was what was in their tiny brains. Hey, Bernardo said. They cocked their heads at him. Pick on someone as ugly as you. Wait, that didn't come out right. For the Emperor! The ravens cawed and rushed at him. dropship flew overhead. He hoped they hadn't noticed him. The kid. gate of heroes. Someone's idea of a joke. Making the Skyship Docks a gated community. You needed a hero's sword to open it. And the kid was on the other side of the gate. Who let you through? Promise me you'll take the book to the rebels. Or I'm gonna steal your ship. I'm not taking that damn book anywhere. And neither are you. Try and stop me, laughed the kid. I bet you don't even have a hero sword. And with that, the kid hopped away. Had to hand it to the kid. He was an idiot, but he had guts. Where was Renata going to get a hero sword? Or and wind essence? Perfect. Hero Sword, QED. This is what he got for settling down and finding people to care about. The kid's mum had been a swell cook and she'd laughed at Renato's jokes, even when he didn't know he'd made one. And then the ravens had come to burn her. And she'd made him promise to protect the kid. But she never told him where the book was, just the kid. He came up to a ledge. It was too far to jump. There'd been a bridge here before, hadn't there? And there was Peter, giggling at him. How'd you get across? He asked the kid. Where'd you find a hook? I harped, said the kid. Wise-ass kid. Hey, look out behind you! Cute, said Renato. Ah, oh, ravens. It was time to talk some sense into the kid. Just hook his way across the ledge and chase the kid down. The thing was, he hadn't used his hook since he'd retired. How had he done it? Maybe if he meditated at that altar there, he'd remember his old skills. It was starting to come back to him. Something you never completely forgot, like how to freeze time when attacking. The more he fought, the more he'd probably remember. And there was the Farfarer. She was the fastest ship he'd ever known. She could do the Kester run in 12 furlongs. Well, so the salesman told him. And something told him the kid was about to walk into an ambush. Stop! He shouted. I'm not giving you the book! shouted the kid and took off. No! Peter! A 
The kid ran for it. And a goggler nailed him with its eyes. unburned. Next to it were the buckles from the kid's shoes and a kid-sized pile of ashes. Damn it. Why hadn't he lied and told the kid he'd take the book to the rebels? The kid would be alive now. Really pissed off and betrayed, but alive. Oh, damn it. Renardo picked up the book. He couldn't let the Empire have it now. He was going to have to get it out of there. He'd be a wanted man. Probably have to join the rebellion just to have a place to dock. Well, he'd hated home life anyway. deal about this book anyway. Maybe he should open it and find out. 